When you were a kid, did you ever play the game War, where you take a set of playing cards, you divide it in half, and you do the highest card wins kind of battles back and forth? Well, if you remember playing that game as a kid, I have a game that kind of plays as an updated version of that. Because today, on Joker Reviews, we're going to be reviewing Scrimmish. <laughs> Scrimmish is a really simple game. You're playing as two rival kings trying to assassinate the other one before they're able to get you. So in this case, you are given five stacks of cards that range from numbers one through six. You can see they look you know, like that. So that's a two different weapons on them. And you will be granted one crown card. That crown card can be hidden under one of the stacks. Obviously, you don't want your opponent to know which stack that it's hidden under. Then you will be attacking the other stacks. So you flip your card over, you pick which one you're attacking, they flip over their card, and if the number is lower, then you win. If the number is higher, then you lose. So this one gets discarded, and you're two comes back here it pretty much goes back and forth like that until you figure out which deck your uh, opponent's king card or your crown card is hidden under and you're able to attack it there are two special cards that is the archer and the shield archer cards always succeed in every attack that they do it doesn't matter what the number is unless they're attacking a shield card and now a shield card is always going to be able to stop an attack or it won't stop it but if it is attacked by another card it will force the other card to get discarded along with it so it doesn't matter what the number is it will force the other card to get discarded so here's here's a four if this four attacked this shield both cards would get discarded now in the case of an archer attacking a shield the neither card will win that battle so the archer and the shield will both go back to the top of their pile that they came from and that's pretty much the game you're going through you're kind of trying to figure out where you want to put your crown card you usually want to put it at the bottom but and that's pretty much it very simple so my final thoughts on skirmish well it's a pretty simple game and like i said in the intro it's basically like an updated version of playing uh, the game war with a deck of cards but, you know, it kind of does what it's supposed to do. It's a simple game that you can carry around with you. It, there's not a ton of tactics to it. I mean, there's a little bit of strategy. There's more strategy than, say, war. War is basically random. And uh, this is not random. You do get to kind of plot out where you're going to put everything. You get to hide your crown under whichever pile you want to put it. You can stack the cards in different ways where you move your shields, where you move your archers, where you move your higher value cards, and how you scout out the other piles. Because of because of those tactical aspects, I'm just going to say it's it's more than war, but it the gameplay mechanics are basically the same. And that kind of works to its benefit because you can just explain it really easily. Everybody's played war. So if you just kind of be like, hey, it's just like war, except there's some little changes, you can explain this in a couple of minutes, which is really good for most games especially games that are like this where you're just going to pull them out with you like this is a game where you could just keep in your pocket when you're going out and you just like have like end up crossing somebody that you want to just play a game with you can just play this game really easily and teach it so for what it is i'm going to give it like a seven seven out of ten it's not a overly complex game but it does what it's supposed to do and that's be a really simple game that you can play really quickly with not a lot of prep or not a lot of split space to play on because you basically can just play it on a little table or like a bar table or the, the corner of a desk or something like that. So it kind of lives up to what it's supposed to do. So 7 out of 10. If you like these game reviews, feel free to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you know what's up. And we'll catch you in the next game review, guys. <laughs>